Are you aware of the Agile Assessment Guide published by the Government Accountability Office, GAO? It's a great resource for auditors, organizations, and programs that are interested in adopting or evaluating Agile software frameworks and methods. It focuses on the best practices for Agile adoption and execution and controls. It was put together by a group of government entities, government individuals, and also volunteers. So a huge shout out to my buddy Scrum Bob and the others who worked on this. It's absolutely brilliant to have the government looking into Agile and up in the ante on it. You see, it focuses on the best practices for Agile adoption, execution, and controls. Let's jump straight into the contents and take a look at what's here. We have background of this document, Agile adoption challenges, Agile adoption best practices, overview of Agile execution and controls, requirements, development, and management in Agile, best practices checklist, Agile and the federal contracting process, best practices checklist, Agile and program monitoring and control, Agile metrics, and a very robust assortment in the appendix section. You see, the main purpose of this document is it is to assist in the transitions and managing of Agile programs, particularly in government settings. The target audience, largely federal auditors, organizations and programs considering using agile approaches. The best practices, the case studies, the summaries of relevant regulations and resources, debunked myths about agile and appendices are all very helpful for any agilist. It provides helpful information, quick questions for auditors and summaries of agile frameworks. I did a very detailed review of the first version of this this is the new version I see just by browsing through the graphic more up to date. There's some more intentional work done. And best of all, it is totally free. Now, this guide will contain some topics that may surprise people who are in the agile space. For example, the concept of earned value management, which I will highlight here, is also here. It says... One official stated that required use of earned value management can be onerous without guidance and how to adopt earned value management to reflect data about iteration progress. And it goes in pretty deep on some of these topics. If this is something you want to download, follow the link below, share with your friends, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'll be reviewing this in more detail as soon as I'm able. Bye for now.